let's look at some stuff that I've gotten in uh, this week. And we're going to take a look at a model that I painted up that I wanted to show you a technique that um, I found to be really effective and wanted to share with y'all. So let's get at it and let's see what's on my table. Okay. So coming back from Saturday night, and this was in my mailbox. This is um, the Dark Age Apocalypse Core Rule Books. It should be available, I believe the street date on this is July 18th. Uh, it is a hardback book. Um, it is all full color. We'll show you in a minute. Uh, it is going to retail at, I think, even an MSRP. It's $19. Um, so under a 20 spot or right out of 20 spot, you've got a core rule book in hardcover with uh, the rule set you want to need with all your army lists available online for free. So, yes, that is correct. Everything online for this is free at this time. And uh, for those of you that are in the Midwest or actually come to Gen Con, traditionally these guys do a tournament every year, and the winner of the tournament actually gets a model made after them put into the game. So how awesome is that, that, you know, you go, you get in a tournament, and you actually get a model made after you. So um, let's do a quick review on this. I know the quality on this camera is not too hot, so maybe a little bit later uh, when I get the better camera out, I will do a more in-depth review because I've actually got a ton of miniatures that I picked up at uh, Adepticon this year from the Cool Mini or Not booth, who this is put it through, put out through. It's by Cool Mini or Not. Uh, you can ask your distributor, or you can go online and check it out. I'd advise checking your distributor first, so you can you know support your local store. But you know, let's take a look at it. So the the quick start rules. You'll um, I think we did a when I got back from Adepticon, we went over and looked at a lot of this stuff that was a uh, that I got from the. If you remember, I had a limited edition copy of this. Uh, remember, it, this is the one that does the work of uh, Brom. It's set in like a post-apocalyptic future on a... Uh, it's post-apocalyptic set on one planet. It's not multiple planets. So all these factions uh, interchange in this area here. Uh, it's, like a, uh, it's like a city that was cast aside and then reborn. And they, they've been in the process. I'm not going to go into the fluff too bit because I want you guys to check it out and actually read it for yourself. It's based on a D20 system uh, where you're hitting a target number below to hit. Uh, it is a uh, skirmish based. This this is, if you notice, there's not a lot of uh, empty space on here. And it's got full color. Uh, does have, uh, they've got all types of rules in here for, you know, they've got like arcing sweep attacks. Uh, range of Salt's a very cool skirmish game. Uh, it's point based. It does drive off. They have different casts and uh, different uh thematics all going so you've got like um your sewer uh you know your toxic mutants you've got your your uh avatar the last mind bender you've got your desert nomads you've got like your your inner city you know here's our saint mark's protector or whatever uh and you've got this guy who carries her who carries around a big hunking piece of a uh, rock so but anyway uh Full color rules. The thing I kind of like that sets this apart, not only is it very concise, uh, it goes over a lot of stuff. It goes over the, the factions, what's cool to see the ice case, the, um, as you can see, the scarred. There's several factions you can play. Wow, look at that. That is a, that's a beast. But actually, this goes into depth. Not only can you do like normal tournament one-offs, but they actually have terrain rules. So not only... Can you like it? You can actually get in here and you can talk about how you do floating tables. Like if you, you know, you've seen people that do like tables that float and they may do uh, separate tables for it. They've got rules for actually making floating tables. Uh, you can do like uh, weapon platforms. So you can actually make interactive terrain, uh, you know, and they've got different types of terrain that you can, uh, you can uh, do traps on the terrain. You can do unstable grounds, minefields. Uh, all of that. And then, look at this. Just keeps on going. Ion cannons. Uh, just venom blooms. So, I mean, just totally. And then you go into the scenarios. That's pretty. And then let me go into this next slide. This is what got me the campaign rule set. So, for those of you that were, like, really into Necromunda or Blood Bowl or anything where you like a sustained uh, campaign, you can go through here. Your models can get experience. They can acquire skills as you go through a campaign, and they can pick up new skills. So, and you know, it's just fantastic. It's just 
all and then like here's a big map so you want to say here's player a player b player c player d player e or however you want to set it up you can set that out and they can go out and you can scratch out you know who's going to win this campaign who's taking over the most territories oh it's so so cool so cool I haven't had a chance to go through it 100 in depth because I just got 100% in depth because I just went through it yesterday. But man, I'm very impressed. For $19, this is not bad at all. Uh, and then you go into just elements um, of like, you know, if you're playing in the mountains, that you can have this happen. And uh, so you've got tables you can roll on. I mean, it just goes very, very, very in depth for a very, very in depth, very concise. I mean, we're looking at. The whole rule book is, well, there's the templates. And from what I've heard, they are working on making like specialized template sets of uh, die cast templates and stuff. Uh, there's about 92 pages in this for the whole kit and caboodle. Like I said, 20 bucks for the whole thing, including campaign rules and all the army lists for free. All this, this will be a little fun thing to check up on. And that's Dark Age Apocalypse. Uh, distributed by Cool Mini or not. So ask your store owner if he's got access to that, or you can just check on it online. So I want to do a quick review on that, and then we'll do some more on that later. So next up, um, this weekend I finished painting up a Hell Dorado Mini. Uh, you guys may have seen this guy on my Facebook page. This is the Greater Demon of Wrath. Um, I know it's not going to pull through clear. You can see the little better pictures on uh, my Facebook page. And actually, I had a couple of people ask me about this model because, as you can see, <laughs> um, I painted him, like, mostly skinless. And then I did, like, the muscle because there's actually muscle definition on the actual model. And uh, they were asking how I got the – how did it gloss, basically, and what colors I used to get, like, muscle definition because it's a very rich muscle definition. So I wanted to go over that. Um, I did a little of a – a little of the uh, fabric glue slash uhu glue on that. And then what I did for a lot of this blood, um, I went through and did the following. And uh, this is just my cool tabletop mini that I'm going to use in my foam personal army. So um, what I did is for my muscles that I have used, I've used red gore as a base and just went over the whole thing with that. Uh, went over it with a 50-50 of yada yada of uh, the uh, ball red wash and black wash. Uh, you don't have to use Citadel Wash. You, you could use anybody that makes red and black wash. So, and that'll go in and set like a really deep red in the uh, crevices of the blood, or um, of the, I'm sorry, crevices of the muscles. I'll find that to be really, really, don't overdo it. Just do it very lightly because you don't want to fill in and have it dry and set and leave patches all in it. Just do a very, very light coating over it. And then over that for the highlights, uh, I did a very, 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 very light dry brush just over the highest part of the muscles with blood red. Uh, this is Vallejo's Bloody Red. I like it better than the, the blood red because uh, this is a lot more conducive to blending. I've not checked out the P3 version. Uh, I hope to check that out soon. Uh, and then the piece de resistance that uh, I set off is, once again, bam, Tamiya Clear Red. This is the most, it's like magic liquid uh, going on there. And so you, I did it, went over that. It pretty much gave it, it punched the red up on the whole notch and it made it glossy. Uh, when I did the dull coat over, it started to go over. So I went over the dull coat actually with another coat of this. And then I did some patches on the base and actually used the, uh, the other cameo that I love that I talked about last time. Liquid smoke, mix these two, congeal blood on the ground. Oh, uh, it looks awesome. So... That is, uh, that's Uncle Frank, um, and I totally covered the sword blade, these little things. Um, the zombies I did by doing a mix of, like, standard flesh and zombie flesh, going over it with another one of uh, Mr. Justin's washes. Mr. Justin's washes, check it out, it's awesome. Uh, hopefully we'll be finishing that guy up soon, but I uh, we'll just had to finish that guy. He's cool, cool, cool. Um, anyway, um, I've probably annoyed you guys enough today. So, you guys have a great weekend. If you haven't checked out my Facebook page, check it out. Paint, uh, I think it's just do a search for Paint with Trash, all one word. Uh, just throw me a like on there. That's where I do most of my updates through the week. Um, and, yeah. Um, or you, um, thank you for keep subscribing and watching this stuff over here. Because when I do videos, I'll post them up to YouTube and then link them over to Facebook. So, but you get more updates on Facebook because I'll just I like to post stuff up from my phone. So, but anyway, I uh, appreciate you all being here, uh, one way or the other. Uh, if you guys are going to Gen Con, I'm am making plans to be there. So I'll be more than happy to 
uh, to meet you some some of you guys. But uh, for for right now, this is trash. Peace out. Bye.